Um, JCISD literary, literacy consultant Sandy White and Megan McCormick. Hi. How are you, ladies? Good. I knew good I was going to gonna trip over that. That's all yeah. right. That's all right. <laughs> of course, right? That's well, right. it's a mouthful of all good things. Well, you know, right? I mean, there's a lot of pressure. Uh, literacy consultant. Hey, you can't so screw that up. Yeah, I, I know. know. Right? <laughs> I the did. pressure got to you. It did. It always gets to me. <laughs> so what's going on? Big uh, big weekend coming up. Yes, we have our, our uh, Jackson Reads um, book distribution, cool. our um, annual event. This is our big one. We do about five during uh, the year, but this is our big one. I remember last year being shocked at the numbers and how many children, young, well, I guess it's not just children, but how many yeah. people's lives you touch. How many are you hoping to reach this so last year we targeted a thousand and I remember saying it would be a great problem if we ran out of bags. Yes. We ran out of bags. Oh, oh my gosh. It was amazing. So wow. this year we have expanded a little bit. We have 1,200 bags. Each bag has 10 books. Oh my gosh. Per uh, age band or grade level. Okay. okay. Wow. Um, so we have uh, birth to two books, three, four, and five year old books, kindergarten, first grade, a second and third grade bag fourth and fifth grade bag and then we've expanded to middle school this year oh, because so we had so many middle schoolers yeah. last year yeah. and not enough books for them so we've been we were very excited that cool. we could offer that this year how do you decide which books go in each age group's bag well, you know it's it's a a labor of love yes. for <laughs> sure it takes a lot of time um, we really have been trying to be mindful and intentional thinking about more recent books that perhaps kids wouldn't otherwise have oh, seen. Yeah. Um, we're trying to think about books that represent the lives of the kids that we're mm. distributing books to. And then we have some author books that um, we have some special events happening with Ooh. some of the authors that will actually be at the event. Oh, tell us more Sandy, about that. Sandy, you brought some of the author books. I did, books. I brought some of the author books. So for our middle school age, we have Gary Schmidt, um, who is an amazing, amazing author. If, uh, if you don't get a little tear in your eye reading this book, Aww. I would be very surprised. Uh, and then we Maybe have. We should read it. I probably, I probably yeah, should. You would, you really would like it. I, I know that you would. And then this is um, Jean Elster, and this is Who's Jim Hines. Oh. And so that's and it, these story take place in Detroit. Oh. And so that's it's cool. um it's kind of uh, there's this one and then another one called The Colored Car and. It is about a um, sort of like that depression era okay. Detroit mm, mm. coming of age of, wow. of kids. Yeah. So that's interesting. This is another Gary Schmidt. And then we have um, Alice McGinty, and this is called Pancakes for uh, Parathas. Okay. And um, it is um, just breakfast around the world, like all oh. different cultures oh, cool. and communities. And maybe we should um, read that one that, too. Maybe we should start with that. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Somebody likes I'll breakfast. Start with the, uh, to do that. I'll yeah. start with the picture book. She also has another one called Bathe the Cat. That's really cute. Aww. And then Amy Young is another one of our authors, and she has written a bunch of books called um, Around the, a Unicorn Named Sparkle. Aww. And um, there's like five books in the series, but we um, have two. One for K1 and one for our uh, birth to age two oh, kids. These nice. are beautiful books. Yeah, they They're really amazing. Are. How did you books. find? How did you come up with the four authors? So, how were you able to pull that? Um, off? We just really look for authors that are Michigan authors okay. and nice. are really available to us. Mm -hmm. And so I reach out early in the year and. Uh, the amazing thing is I think they're just about as excited about this event as we are. So they're actually going to be there. They're, mm -hmm. they're going to be there. Wow. They'll do a nice little presentation, about 15 minutes with kids, yeah. uh, you know, depending on that little squirm factor for yeah. those little ones. And then, um, then they'll have a meet and greet where they will actually sign books for kids. What and incredible Spend some time experience. talking to them and sign them. and. They're just very excited to be here, so. You know, those kids, regardless of age, will never forget that. No. It, and that's a, yes. such a huge privilege and a cool thing to be a part of. It's yeah. so special, and, so, and some of these, some of the kids already know the authors, so it's just yeah. really, it's really a neat, a neat opportunity. The event, in, aside from the authors, is the museum, as you, as you know from museum mm -hmm. days, it's open. There's other events that are um, planned throughout the day for, 
the families. There's we're going to have a story walk, oh. um, which will be very exciting. That's but, new this um, year. That is new this yeah. year. So fun so for the whole family. Fun yes. for the whole yes. family. There'll be um, some community partners there, okay. um, able to provide some support to to mm -hmm. the families as well. Um, we'll have some STEM activities from our math and science mm -hmm. folks at the ISD. So it's, did, it's a, definitely a joint uh, yeah. collaborative venture. What, uh, what authors, what books did you two grow up reading? Oh, you know, I think I was I was a big um, like Shel Silverstein. Me too. That's yeah. what kind I was of say. like. Oh, I checked I that was. book out. Those yeah. books out there. Yeah. yeah, where the sidewalk ends. Yeah, yes. read the different poems. Yeah, yes. yes. that's as far yes. as I, I think got. I can memorize some of those. <laughs> some of those probably. This is last year's event too that we're uh, looking at. So. So that's that's a picture of one of our mm -hmm. authors from awesome. last year, awesome. and we could not believe the people just pouring into. The museum and the, that's uh, during the author signing there. Um, it was just such a wonderful event and Ella Sharp, the museum, was so excited mm. to work with us that they were eager to work with us again and this year at the event. Who puts all the bags together? You two? Oh <laughs> boy, it's been, it's a project. We, um, we do some of it and we <laughs> actually have some student volunteers oh, nice. um, last year that helped us and then again this Very year cool. that will come and help us because it's that's it's 1,200 bags so it's it's, it's a, lot. a lot. And books are heavy. Books, books are, are very heavy, heavy yeah. yes. So it is uh, happening this Saturday. Age, yes. Ages again? Uh, four to 14? Birth, birth to um, eighth grade. Birth to oh, eighth nice. grade. Awesome. Birth to eighth grade. At Ella Sharp this Saturday, 10 to 4. Do people need to register in advance or just show no, and go? Just, just show, show and go. Yeah. Just yep. show, awesome. explore, yep. and have a great time. Lots of fun for them. It's exciting. It's going to be an incredible and day. And each, uh, each child's getting 10 free books. That's amazing. It is. I awesome. have one more quick question. You mentioned the story walk. What is that? So a story walk is it's just as much as what it sounds a page mm -hmm. on each like sign or whatever oh, okay. and it just it's like a path that oh, you wander cool. through and so we're we're that there's popping up around town there's yeah. there's a few different ones around town so we we're doing our own version oh, of it. Very awesome. Cool. So so we'll pray for sunshine and yes. good weather and a great turnout. Yes, yes. please. So good, 1200 good, uh, plus, right? 1200 plus. We <laughs> yes. hope we run out of bags again. Yes. Is this timed so uh, you know the students hopefully read these over the summer? It perfect. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. There's 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 a magic about that number ten yeah. to have access okay. to books and to keep reading and make sure awesome. that students have that opportunity. Awesome. Well, uh, good luck on Saturday. Thanks for Thank you. uh, all you're doing for our community. It's Thank very, you so very, much. very cool. Thank, Thank you so much for having us. Sandy White and Megan McCormick, JCISD Literacy Consultants. Nice. More of the morning show <laughs> right after this.